Wilson star is quickly rising on the Christian music scene. Her single, My Jesus, hit number one last year, and Anne won K-Love's 2022 Female Artist of the Year. At just 20 years old, Anne has already tasted great success and bitter pain. The latter came when her beloved brother Jacob died in 2017. Anne recounts how she's found hope despite the heartache in her debut book, My Jesus. Well, Ann Wilson joins us now. Ann, we're so happy to have you with us today. Thank you so much for getting up early and being with us. Yes, thank you so much for having me. This is awesome. Of course. All right, well, let's go back to when you were just 15 years old. You tragically lost your brother and your best friend. Tell us what happened. My brother passed away in a car accident. He was 23 years old and it was so, so tragic. Um, me and my family were brokenhearted and devastated and um, it was just such a hard time. But through the loss of my brother, God really just did so much in our family's life. And um, we were able to, to see his goodness through each and every moment. We were able to grow grow closer to the Lord through that season. And that's actually how my music career started was through the loss of my brother. Um, I sang for the first time publicly in front of anyone at my brother's funeral. So God um, used that tragedy and brought so much good out of it. Oh my goodness, he really did. Well, Jesus, I trust you were the very words that came from your heart in that season. How did those words and that prayer really transform you? I remember facing this moment and this decision of the Lord really just saying, and are you going to trust me or are you not? And I just remember turning around and saying, Jesus, I trust you. And it was in that moment that I felt this weight lifted off of me. And I just knew that God was going to give me all that I needed to get through and to bring me to where I am today, five years later. And so um, it's really just, I think there's something so beautiful about choosing to trust God in the midst of such pain and choosing Using to worship him through pain. And that's really what me and my family chose to do. And he has blessed us so much. And just to see what he's done in our lives has been amazing. Yeah. Well, how, how did God really just keep you guys together and, and sane and really just process the loss of Jacob? How did you guys handle that grief? It was so tragic. I mean, there's just so much pain when you lose someone you love, but the Lord was so near. And, you know, the Bible talks about God being near to the brokenhearted. And this was the first time in my life where I really was truly brokenhearted and where I firsthand witnessed God being so incredibly near to me. So um, the Lord got us through. He gave us all that we needed to push through. And even as a family, we grew closer together, which was amazing. And so God really just pulled us through this tragedy and um, has just been so good to us through each and every moment. And I really don't, don't think I would have been able to do it without him. Mm. Well, My Jesus is the title of your hit song and also the title of your latest book. What does that phrase mean to you? You know, My Jesus, um, to me, it obviously, I think of the song in the book, but more than anything, I think back when I wrote the song and before I wrote the song, um, my heart was just just longing for Jesus. And I was so grateful when I met him in seventh grade and I, you know, became a Christian and, and he was my personal Jesus. Um, but I used to journal and I used to write down the day's date. And then I would write down that I got through another day. I wanted to prove to myself that I would survive through the tragedy of losing Jacob and that God would bring me through it. And then I looked back into my journals and realized that I had only ever referred to God as my Jesus. Mm. And, um, so those years after losing Jacob, it was just my Jesus. I love you or prayers or whatever. And so that phrase really means a lot to me. Um, it really just reminds me of what God did in my life and what he's continuing to do. And more than anything, it reminds me of the relationship that I have with Jesus that I'm so grateful for that. Um, I have a loving father who loves me that sent his son to die for me and that I can know him intimately and personally. So I'm so, <clears throat> I'm so grateful for those words. Yeah, definitely. I actually saw something on social media regarding grief and it said, it's not like grief gets any smaller, but you grow around your grief. Do you think that that's oh. true in, in your own life? You know, I think so. I feel like for me, um, grief comes in waves. And so some days it's really, I mean, sometimes I'm, it's great. And then some days it's really hard. And so I definitely feel like you start getting used to it though, for sure. You start, um, every day you just, 
you know, you grow a little bit more and realizing, okay, this is reality. Jacob really is gone. He really is not coming back. And I'm not going to see him again until whenever God, you know, wants me home in heaven. So, um, definitely I feel like you just start growing with it and you get more used to it as time goes on. Yeah. Well, what would you say to someone watching right now who is walking through a dark time in their life? Maybe they did lose someone close to them like you did. What word of encouragement would you give them? I would encourage them that, um, God is with you, that he's for you. He's not against you. And, um, the enemy loves to take tragedy and loss and make it sound like, Oh, well, why didn't God stop it? And, you know, makes you want to, he makes you always want to blame God for things, but there's a lot of beauty and importance in choosing to trust God in the midst of your situation right now, like this very second. Um, and a lot of people choose to go the other way and then they come back to God years later, but you can make a choice right now and you can choose to trust God in the midst of this. And, um, it's really hard to trust God. I mean, it's not an easy thing. And, Um, but I think there's so much blessing on the other side of that. And so I would encourage you right now to trust God, put your faith in him. Um, understand that this is one of my favorite things to, to remember that God did not create us to have to go through suffering. He actually created us for the garden and everything was supposed to be beautiful and perfect. And, you know, there was no sin. And then when, when Adam and Eve sinned, that's when the world became sinful and this world has fallen now, but God didn't design us for that. And so our hearts aren't meant to have to go through what we're going through, but we have a God in heaven who loves us, who adores us, who created us and who is going to get us through this. So it's all about trusting in him and, and believing that he is going to make a way when there is no way. Amen, girl. You are preaching. You are preaching. Well, last question. What is on the horizon for you, and What can we look forward to? There's so many things. I'm going on tour the rest of this year with Casting Crowns and Kane. Yes. Um, and then I'm going out with Phil Wickham in December. We have four shows on the West Coast that we're doing together for Christmas. Yay. Um, and then next year, we just announced that I'm doing Winter Jam, which is so exciting. Um, so I'll be on Winter Jam for the first three months of 2023. And I'm really excited to see what God's going to do through all of these shows. And um, yeah. I hope to see you sometime soon at a show near me. Oh my gosh. And thank you so much for being with us today. And I just have to say like the joy of the Lord is all over you. And just knowing what Uh, you and your family have gone through, you're really a light and you're making a difference around the world, but especially for the younger generation too. So just thank you so much. I'm so thankful for your life. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for having me today. Of course. All right, guys. Well, Anne's book is called My Jesus from Heartache to Hope, and it's available wherever books are sold. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.